pretty much everyone I think in the in the group knows Elizabeth. She was my former violin student of I, I believe about four years. Twenty thirteen, she started, and it was an incredible ride. We did so many works together. Uh, you would you would have seen her at the Wamsutta Club at the James Arnold Mansion several times and many recitals in my uh, private residence and then um, some actually in Natick at the Steiner, um, formerly uh, the M. Steiner and Sons uh, Recital Hall, formerly in Natick, now in, in Newton, Mass. Uh, so many big, big venues uh, that she'd played in and, and, and incredible, incredible works of literature, just to give you an idea that she played, spanned so many composers uh, with me. We studied uh, uh, several Bach pieces uh, Beethoven romance, uh, Brahms, Hungarian dance, I believe, the Massenet, uh, the uh, uh, meditation from Thais, uh, Paderewski's melody, several uh, violin concerti, including the Oscar rating um, uh, B minor concerto and some sites uh, concerti. And probably, Elizabeth, I'd like your thought on this, but probably of all the works that we've done, the most resonant and the one that I think, what, do you, what, what am I going to say? that really through concerts time and time again people have just remembered now you do a, a marvelous job on everything uh, that you work on but this particular piece you know what i'm going to say probably <laughs> what is it um i'm gonna guess an adoration yeah yeah <laughs> yeah feel okay. it happened to be the first piece of music that you performed in a, in a major concert with me and that was in 2013 and in sampling the literature, kind of getting an idea of where you were when I was just meeting you, uh, I discovered myself because I hadn't played that as a violinist or instructed any students on um, uh, Felix Borowski's adoration for violin and piano. And it is a absolutely, it may not be in this program, but maybe in the near future we can, we can perform it. Uh, that piece not only was your first piece, but through several shows, uh, you perform that. And it's just for several reasons. I think you, it just really resonated well with everyone. It's just you, but in, in the particularly in the works that are performed that are uh, dramatic and passionate and energetic, you really hit the nail on the head. And that piece was just, you know, you know, everyone can say in music, you know, certain pieces suit the, the mood or suit them or make them remind them of certain things and just the, and, and are fitting to certain scenarios, let's say, right? Uh, adoration was just perfect. And yeah, I, I, I'm my honest opinion through all the works that you've studied. Elizabeth also did works of mine. Um, I, I'm also a composer and I've written several uh, solo and small scale ensemble works. Uh, and she also debuted those works um, at different, uh, these similar venues that I've, I've mentioned. Um, ensemble, small quintet, quartet, duets, um, and uh, solo pieces with piano accompaniment. Uh, so lots of, lots of, Fun literature. Uh, Elizabeth, before we talk a, a brief bit about the program that you're going to be doing, why don't you, uh, could you complete the conversation about your musical involvement after you left me and sort of how, you, how you've been doing with that? Yeah, of course. Um, so following Andrew, um, I had more teaching when I went to college. Um, as a freshman in college, I was a music major. Um, I worked a lot with um, Miss Hannah Crane. Um, she was amazing. She pushed me super hard and gave me a lot of awesome, fun pieces. Um, I really appreciated her time um, and patience. Um, <laughs> and um, while I didn't stick with the music major, it always has been um, like part of my everyday life, um, an awesome just hobby that I love to delve into and have these opportunities to perform and share what I love to do. So that's where I went from there and also um, got a little bit involved with teaching um, for about a year or two, um, teaching um, younger kids as well as some slightly older um, and it was just really fun. It really made me appreciate um, fundamentals and just being able to inspire, um, especially young kids, is so fulfilling and fun um, to really bring music to them in a way that's um, fun for them and fulfilling for them. That's awesome. That's, that is awesome. And, you know, you, you talked about a, a lot of key, very important things with you're learning as, as you're going through music, you're learning a lot about um, the repertoire, but you're learning a lot about yourself and you're learning. Um, I, I can tell you from teaching, uh, you know, when I went from performance to teaching, I learned so many things. My students teach me things all the time. Uh, and I, it, it's an incredible opportunity in itself. And I always said, particularly with you, I always said, it's 
just amazing that you can stick with with the music because you are so great at it in every which way. And it's just a, it's a nice thing to be involved with in life. Um, I always say from my uh, standpoint of uh, practicing medicine, you know, that that's just a great balance for me. And I've always I, I just one of the best things I've done uh, is to keep that keep that going. And it's growing and it's great. And you you definitely are experiencing that. And when you when you left to teach, it really was just a great thing to as your teacher, I, I'm going to say you, you've made some incredible progress. Uh, and those who have been in the concerts, uh, having the pleasure of hearing you have also witnessed that, you know, since let's say 2013's first show with Adoration all the way to maybe 2017, the last two shows that you did, I believe um, at the uh, M. Steiner and Sons venue, um, what an improvement. I mean, you just, you know, you love it clearly uh, and that helps. Uh, and so it's just, it's an amazing thing that you're, you're involving yourself in, in that. And that's why I am incredibly happy to be extending opportunities like this to, to students uh, current and former uh, to perform because I think it's great and we, this will not be the last we'll do several of these um, you know as we're going through um, you know the, the time of the year and uh, perhaps the holiday I know I'm going to be doing a, a show this week and then um, next with it in, in, in the holiday season there'll be another one because um, I've been actually frequently requested to um, to program music for the holidays. So, uh, and actually Elizabeth has sung, I didn't mention that, but you've also sung. Um, and I could say, uh, other, other than the violin, you, you perform the piano. You actually did um, immediate recollection as you actually did the Moonlight Sonata, uh, I believe, it was also 2013. I think it was the, the, the holiday concert. So, you know, the, the spring concert, we did adoration in the holiday concert. And if anybody has a chance to check uh, please check my YouTube channel for Elizabeth's work because she's she, we have we have the great fortune of capturing some of those performances and she did incredible. You'll you'll see that she has the, the Beethoven there and boy did you command the power and expression to that music when you just literally walked up to that piano and just started to play and the energy um, is apparent and, and 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 I can say with our shows the energy is apparent and. And all of our shows, the people that came to my concerts, like the people that are here now, uh, are really, really, truly want to be here and enjoy the music and are very supportive. And that has just been, as a programmer, as an instructor, an incredible thing, really, to have audiences that are just so engaging. I mean, I, it was so much fun doing, doing, you know, hosting the major events and I'm beginning to host them here. And when I do eventually come back to the Massachusetts area, I'm going to continue to be teaching, you know, and now maybe bringing that back. So, uh, and then hopefully in between visits as I'm settling, I can coordinate, uh, you know, a concert, a live concert. So maybe we can get together and do that too. Uh, but the concerts have just been great opportunities. And yeah, if you want to check out the YouTube page, just type in my name right here as it's spelled and it will bring up my page. That's me on, on the violin is, is the cover, um, the cover uh, image. Uh, to the page and you will uh, you'll see some great 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 pieces from elizabeth over the years so thanks we're going to jump right into our program elizabeth has um, four pieces that she's going to be performing and i'll type them in the side chat so for your reference if you'd like to know since it's virtual we don't have the paper copies i'll type in the uh, artist and the uh, the name of the piece uh, but so just a brief rundown of Elizabeth's program for this evening. She's going to be playing, uh, opening with Fritz Chrysler's Sicilienne, which is a very delicate um, and expressive work, very dance-like, uh, very, very beautiful piece. She's going to follow that with Edward Mollenhauer's Boy Paganini, which I think is just a delightful showpiece. It's very energetic. I think you'll enjoy that much. As a contrast, the third work will be Sergei Rachmaninoff's uh, Volcanives, and it's a gorgeous piece. Elizabeth, may recall that she, you, you performed this in a different, I think in the original key once uh, with me at a recital. So C, C sharp minor, she's gonna perform in an E, e uh, minor uh, this evening. And the vocal is originally written by Rachmaninoff for soprano or high voice and piano accompaniment. And it has been arranged for several um, instruments. It's just a gorgeous piece of music. and particularly uh, and captivating on a string instrument. So the, the uh, version she's going to play of Vocalez is the, is the violin, a uh, very, very popular violin reduction of, uh, of Vocalez, or I should say the uh, transcription. 
Uh, and she's going to conclude her program, her fourth piece being Charles de Berlioz's um, Air Valier is the number 14 in G. And this is going to be a theme uh, with several variations. And it's very, very exciting. It's a, it's a beautiful theme, simple theme, and it builds very nicely to a pretty exciting conclusion, which is why we programmed it last. I think it's just a great finish to her program. So Elizabeth, if you would, uh, everyone, Elizabeth Brenner, and uh, I'd love to get started on your program. Whenever you, you're ready, go ahead and, and let's get started. Okay. Excellent, excellent job. Beautiful, beautiful, delicate piece. That was Fritz Chrysler's Sicilian. You've played a lot of gavots and I, I think you, you play them quite nicely. It's, um, you know, you have, you like to dance too, I think, right? That helps in music. You do? Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, 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 <laughs> it, really, it, really, it really does, it really does. You have to have the music moving and, and I, I've always thought that you've, you've done a very, very nice job with that. Okay, Chrysler Sicilian. So our second, as I mentioned, piece, and I've been typing it in, in the side chat just so everyone can have the benefit of understanding what's happening, is going to be, uh, as I mentioned, Edward Mullenhauer's uh, The Boy Paganini. You ready? Yep. Okay.
Excellent job. Great job. Yeah, that, is, that is an excellent, excellent showpiece. And I, I have to say, the left-hand pizzicato you learned on your own. Uh, from Miss Hannah Crane, yeah, she was great. Wow, that's excellent, excellent work. That's that is a that is a challenging piece, and I think you did a wonderful job. And the tone, I mean, you've always had great intonation, but you know, uh, your violin is it the violin you've you've had you've been playing with? Uh, yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful uh, uh, sonorous instrument. So excellent, excellent job with that. Okay, that was Mollenhauer's "The Boy Paganini," as I shared. Uh, and let's let's take a change of pace and let's play uh, the Rachmaninoff. So if you would, whenever you're ready, go ahead and why don't you share with us the vocalists? Sure.
Great job. All right. Excellent job, Elizabeth. Thank nice. You. It really is a beautiful, beautiful piece of music. And I thought it was fitting for this time of year with uh, Halloween right around the corner. Like mine love wrote some beautiful music and I truly appreciate his, his music. And uh, it has sort of a number of his works have a dark uh, darkness to them, I think. Uh, and uh, boy, did you did you deliver it nicely. So thank you so much for that contrast. That was um, Elizabeth's third work, which is the Rachmaninoff Vocales. Uh, and I didn't put it on the side here, but I can do that now in case anybody wants later on. Uh, and then the, the final piece uh, of your program is uh, De Berrios Air Verrier, and that's the 14th in G, correct? Mm -hmm. This is this is the piece with a, a, a presenting an initial theme and several variations on that theme, which I think is quite crafty what Berrio does, and he builds really, really nicely, uh, and it's a great way to finish the program. So whenever you're ready, uh, let's hear the, the Verrier. Awesome. Thank you. Okay. Excellent, excellent job. Um, fantastic program. Congratulations.
I hope everyone enjoyed the, the pieces that were picked. I believe Elizabeth has a special piece planned. Yes, for my auntie Jeanette. It's a special day oh. for a special lady. And I'm going to play happy birthday for her. All right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, auntie. <laughs> Ah, and a little bit of personal touch. I love it. Okay, Je <laughs> Jeanette, happy happy birthday. Ah, <laughs> All right. Thank you, ah, everyone, for joining us. Thank you, everyone, for joining us. I hope you have a wonderful night. We'll keep you posted with the program material for future concerts. And Elizabeth definitely will be joining us uh, for future sessions. It's a great, great privilege to have her back. Um, I, I, I think a, this may be the first one since uh, you left my instructions. So that's excellent. And I, I just am in so many ways uh, amazed at your great work. You've always done an incredible job. So congratulations. Great job, everyone. Thank you for your support and joining. I'll share this material so it's readily available on social media and my YouTube page, which is my name if you type it in. And I hope everyone has a fabulous night. Elizabeth, great work. And keep the music going. Take, take care, everyone. Thank you. Good night, Andrew. Thank you. Bye, Good night. Bye-bye. Great you, job. Leslie. Good job. Thank you so much.